Hey guys, uh, it's Nick's back with another video, and today, um, well, I'm back randomly after uh, quite a long time, but I'm honestly just sitting in my room, and it's a fucking Friday afternoon, and I'm bored, so I decided that I'm gonna do a tier uh, listing rank thing for Gen 5 Pokemon, so we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I'm, like, the biggest fan of Gen 5. I started with Gen 5 as my first Pokemon game, so of course I'm gonna be really biased with this entire deck, so... Uh, what is it 163 new pokemon or something but uh, i really love this generation a lot um so let's get right into it and we're gonna start off with victini uh so pretty cool pokemon i'd honestly put it at b tier it's cool it's nothing amazing you know you don't have a lot of access to it really um it's just a, it's a mythical so you know they don't really give it out willy-nilly anyway so you know um moving on we got the starters now i am a very big fan of the gen 5 starters actually so for me, it's automatic S tier for the entire superior line. Um, I love these Pokemon so much. I think they are like the coolest grass type um, starter Pokemon to be uh, given to us. And I think they're just a really good Pokemon. They're really well rounded. rounded. Um, they're really good competitively. So I do like them a lot. Uh, next up, we do have the Tepic line, which I'm a pretty big fan of them as well. Uh, Embor has a sick shiny. So in my opinion, I would say Tepic is a solid B tier. Pig Knight is kind of meh, but Embor brings it back, and I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Mm, probably going to put it in B tier. Um, but yeah, they're a pretty good line. It's just Pig Knight kind of brings it down, but I guess, you know, it's the middle stage syndrome, so that's what happens. But next we got Oshwat. Oshwat is freaking adorable. Easy A tier. Uh, I'm a big uh, Hisuian Samurai lover, so... It's not in the list, though, but whatever. We got Duat. Easy A tier for Duat. Easy A, a tier. It's a freaking ninja, whatever it is. What is it supposed to be? A freaking ninja sea lion thing. I don't know. But I would say A tier for Samurai. Uh, next, we got the Patrat line. Actually, not the biggest fan. I do like Patrat shiny, though, so I'd probably do this. I'm not... They're not really good competitively. Their designs are kind of bland, and they, the only thing that brings it some type of value is the fact that they have like a half decent shiny um anyways i do love the freaking stoutland line the stoutland line slash lily pup line is so freaking good uh a tier lily pup b tier herdier a tier stoutland easily stoutland is like one of those pokemon that's not seen a lot because it's not like amazing competitively but for a playthrough, I think I've literally used the Stoutland every single time that I've done a playthrough of Pokemon Black and White. Or Black and White 2. So I, I just have like an obsession with this Pokemon. It's so cute. I don't know. Something about just it being a dog is just so funny. Um, it's a really good Pokemon. I love its little mustache thing too. So next we got the Lipard line. And I am a freaking Lipard lover, dude. I think this is automatic S tier for me. Um... I'm just a big Lipard fan because of that prankster ability, and it can be so freaking annoying competitively. Um, I'm going to have a sip of my water. But it is so fun to use competitively. Just with that prankster ability, it can be really irritating. So, And it has a really good shiny too. In that, so it has a lot going for it. Then we got the Elemental Monkeys, which I know a lot of people are not the biggest fans of. But for me personally, they're like... I mean, okay, so Pantsage is cool. Simi Sage, I would say, is honestly, like, high B tier, low A tier. I think it has one of the cooler designs of the three. Um, we're gonna put it in, we're gonna put it in A tier. Um, because I think these two are the coolest ones. I think since it got some time in the anime, too, that helped it a lot. Pantsier is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really like Simi Sage. Pampor is also cool, but I don't, mm, I put Simi Poor, like, above Simi Sage easily. So... Yeah, this is probably the order I would put them in, except Pan... Yeah, I would put Pampor above these two. I don't know. I'm not, like, a love, like the biggest enjoyer of them, but they do have some redeeming qualities, I guess. They're just, like, kind of cool, because you do get them early game. Um, so they're, like, pretty cool to see. And then we got Muna. I actually do really love this line a lot. Um, I would put Muna in high B tier... And, and or like mid B tier or whatever. And then Musharna A tier easily. I do like Musharna. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. It's freaking asleep and it does dream stuff and that's fucking amazing. That's cool as fuck. So, um, yeah. So that's where I put it. And I did try to use this competitively and I did enjoy it. It was pretty, uh, what do you call it? It was like, I did a, tr 
I want to say a trick room team or something, but it was it was it did pretty well. It's very slow, so that you know helps it a lot in trick room. So, um, and then next we have the Padov line. Um, I wish they had the female version actually in this because I would put that in fucking F tier if I had a. I need to add an F tier actually, but uh, I would put that one in F tier. Padov is man, tranquil is terrible, unpheasant is cool. I like the male one at least. The female one pisses me off. Um. It's a fucking piece of shit. Because, okay, backstory. I got, like, two shiny Padovs, and they both were female. I was so pissed off. And it was, like, in the black and white game, so it was, like, 1 in 8,000. And that was, like, really frustrating to me. Not to mention, I got the 1 in, like, 30,000 chance to get a shiny Padov. And it was female in the, um, in Pokemon and Poke MMO. So that was really frustrating. Next, we have probably one of my favorite lines. Uh, the Zeb Strike line, easy S tier for both of these guys. I love these Pokemon so much. I think Blitzel's adorable and Zeb is so cool. I wish they were competitively better. I did try using Zeb in the uh, Gen 9 meta, and it was kind of good because I can give it Terra Ice, and it was just it was just fun to use. So it was really cool. Uh, next up, we do have the Boulder slash Rock and Roll line. Now, I am a pretty big fan of them. I think Rock and Roll is cool. Boulder is also... I have a lot of B tier. I'm so biased. And then Gigalith is an easy A tier. Uh, it's, like, somewhat strong. It's Sandstream. And it's just, like, got a really sick design. So, you know, I, I, I do enjoy this Pokemon quite a bit. Um, next up, we have Woobat. Now, funny story. When I was, like, playing Gen 5, I could not figure out for the life of me how to evolve this thing. And it's Woobat. And it would piss me off. And I found out it was a friendship evolution, and, you know, I just never evolved it, so I never had a lot of experience with Woobat. But I think Woobat is cool. It's definitely low, but it's cool. But Swoobat, I would put in A tier. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. It's got a really funny design, and I think it has a signature move, if I'm not mistaken. Heart Stamp if might be signature. I don't know. But I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It looks, um, it's an interesting typing, and, like, with the ability, I think it's simple, or whatever, uh, you get like double stat boost for Calm Mind, which is really, really threatening. And you can either baton past that or sweep it, sweep with it. It gets ad, uh, access to a lot of interesting moves like Heat Wave, Energy Ball. So you can do a lot there with this Pokemon. Uh, next is the Drillbur line. Honestly, kind of don't care for Drillbur. Extra Drill is cool. It's got a nice design. Don't really, don't really care too much. Uh, let's see about the um. Mm, yeah, well, you're going there. Don't really care too much about Drillbur, though, but Extra Drill is kind of decent. It's got a sick design, and it, it has, like, freaking scars on it. Like, that's awesome. Um, next, we got Audino. I like Audino a lot. I think it's a cute Pokemon. It's, like, the Chansey of the generation, obviously, so um, what's not to like about it? I would put it in, in like, lower-ish B tier, probably above Woobat, and I need to move the monkeys down a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's probably where I like it, right there. Um, yeah, that looks better. And then, yeah, that looks, that looks good. Um, so yeah, they'll probably put it right here. It looks like a good spot for it. And then we got the timber line. Timber bothers me because it looks like it has a fucking tumor sticking out of its head. And then its entire body. And I don't like that. It kind of grosses me out. So, I mean, I'm biased for timber. I got a shiny one, so whatever. But girder, I do not like at all. King Kelder though brings back the design. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely above those, but Timber is like at the end. Um, honestly, it could go like right here. I want to uh, right there is fine. No, I like Rock and Roller too much. Okay, ne next we got Temple. Temple line is kind of funny. Um, Temple is like cool. It's like whatever. I mean, it's like a really weird looking tadpole but whatever uh we got palpitode palpitode is kind of funny um definitely low b tier though and then seismitoad would be like higher ish b tier i think they all belong in this tier just respectfully like different rankings in b tier uh throw in sock don't really care for them never really have um they're not awful designs. They're supposed to be, like, counterparts, but, like, they don't really look that good, in my opinion. They're, like, too humanoid. And same thing with, like, Girder. I just don't really care for these types of designs. Um, let's see. I want to make sure. I like Sock better than Throw, though. Uh, Girder. Yeah, this is probably the order I put them in. 
And next, we have some of the best lines coming up in the entire Gen 5 fucking Pokedex. These are, like, literally top designs, I think, in my opinion. Suwaddle, Automatic S tier. Uh, what the fuck is this thing called? Um, fuck, I didn't mean to put it there. Swadloon. There we go. Swadloon is, like, B tier. Um, it's, it's, like, cool. It's whatever. It's, like, the emo mid-stage. Uh, put it probably right there. But Levani S tier all damn day. This thing is fucking awesome. I love running this thing and anything competitive. Like, I don't care if it's actually ass. Four times a week to fire and flying. I don't give a shit. I'm going to use it anyways. Um, Venipede, easy S tier. Whirlipede, A tier. And Scolipede, S tier all day. If you don't like Scolipede, there's something wrong with you. This thing is sick. It's bug poison, so it's interesting typing. Um, but it's really cool to see. I like it a lot. And it gets speed boost, so. Uh, speed boost can be, like, Pretty big and uh, you know PVP and stuff. Next we got Cottony line. Uh, I'm not the biggest Cottony fan. Like I, I don't think it's an ugly design or a bad design, but I am, however, a very big fan of shiny Whimsicott. I think it could be definitely high B tier. Let's see, probably right there. Yeah, I'm a pretty big Whimsicott fan. I've never really used one in game or competitively, but I think it's a pretty. It's obviously good at competitively because prankster, but like in game, it's probably mid. Um, it can't do a lot of damage, but it is fast, so that's nice. So next we got the Petalo line. I'm a big Petalo fan. Um, definitely going right there. And then we got Lilligan, which is fucking awesome. Love this Pokemon. Easy A tier. Probably going to have to put it above some of these. Probably like there. Gigalith goes above you guys too. Musharna easily goes above you guys. Willipede is cool as Swoobat. I don't know which one I like better. Probably just do this. Okay, next is Basculin. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> but I just don't even want to talk about Basculin. I like the Blue Stripe one better anyways. But I have my first Shiny Pokemon MMO was Basculin. So, kind of bad memories linked to that. I could have gotten a Shiny Oshawott. I was single encountering and I got Basculin instead, but whatever. Um, not a bad Pokemon by any means, but it is just like kind of like that route. Or it's a Pokemon that's on every route into the water, and you just don't really want to see it all the time. So, yeah, there's that. Holy crap, I still have a lot more to go. <sighs> I'm, like, running out of breath. Uh, next, we got the Sandile line. Uh, Sandile's, it's cool. So is Crocorock. Um, Crocodile, though, is probably A tier. Um, I would put it probably... Let's put it right here. I like Crocodile, but... Uh, I used it competitively, and it just, like, makes me really mad because it cannot do enough damage to, like, anything. It's frustrating. It's not, like, that strong, but definitely a really cool design. And, yeah. So, next we do have Darumaka. I don't really care for Darumaka. I would say it's kind of meh. Um, but I do, however, think Darmanitan is a cool design. Definitely low on the cool designs, but it's, it's cool. Uh, I don't doesn't give me an option for the zen mode one but that one is probably also meh for me but whatever um maractus is i don't know if it should be meh or awful we're gonna put in awful though i think i like sock better than that though sock is like better than these for sure dwebble and crustal i think this is a cool line uh interesting typing uh it gets shell smash so it is somewhat, it can be, like, threatening, but it also is just so slow. So, you know, Dwebble's really cute. Uh, I'd say we put it, like, here. Crustal, it's a cool design, so it's going to go high B tier. Probably about right here. Bring Petal down. Um, put it, like, there. And then, that looks fine. We need to bring Swadloon down, though. Holy crap. Uh, probably there. Okay. Uh, Scraggy and Scrafty. Now, these are some funny Pokemon. They get Dragon Dance, which is really weird. I think it's kind of cool, though, because it is such a... It's. I mean, it's a humanoid Pokemon that gets Dragon Dance. Like, it's It's not a dragon, clearly, but whatever. Um, so Scraggy's funny. Honestly, it's, like, a pretty decent design. Definitely above the monkeys, and I'm gonna put it, like, here, maybe. Nope. Right there. That's a good spot for it. And then Scrafty, however, probably high B tier. High B tier. I'll put it right there. Um, No, there. And then Emperor, I would say, is actually a bad 
these are better than Victini. I'm not the biggest Victini fan, but whatever. Sigilith, um, meh. It's okay. It's just another Psychic Flying type. We already got one this generation. Swoobat's better, but whatever. Now, Yaw Mask is meh. It's like, okay, it's cool. It's just carrying a face. Uh, however, Cock... Cock! Cough Egregious. I can't talk. Okay. Um, Cough Egregious... <laughs> Cough Egregious is definitely a very cool Pokemon. It's nothing like amazing to me, but it is solid B tier. Um, the fossils, however, I am a big fossil fan of this generation. Where the hell is Arche Ar Archaeops? Do they just not have it? I think they just forgot Archaeops. I don't see it anywhere. Anyways, okay. Um, Tortuga is very cool. Definitely probably there. And then Caracosta, A tier. Easy A tier. Uh, Archon is right next to its freaking counterpart. I would put Archie Archeops in A tier as well. I think it's a really cool design. It's just only held back by its freaking ability. Um, next we have Garbodor and Trubbish. <sighs> People hate on this Pokemon a lot, but I just, I don't see why. Like, I don't think it's that bad of a Pokemon. It's like, Trubbish is like, okay, fine. Trubbish is mad, but... But Garbodor is, like, kind of cool. I mean, low B tier, obviously. But, like, it's still cool. Like, it's got some redeeming qualities. It's not the best competitively, but it, it's just got a weird design. So, I think it... I don't know. Something about that arm. The arm just looks kind of funky, and it look, makes it look cool. So, Zoroa and Zoroark. Easy S tier. Easy. Um, I definitely need to, like, reorder this, though. Because I would put that in that order. That there. Uh, yep. No. Strika, Skullipede, literally body Snivy. You body... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is so hard. Okay, you can go here. Zipstrika can go ahead of you. Lifeguard goes ahead of Servine. Servine is cool, but it's like, you know, it's lower A tier for me. Zoroark, however, we're going right there. These three are just sick to me. I love these guys so much. Um, Machino and Chinchino. Holy crap, I love these Pokemon so much. Easy S tier for me. Um, definitely going above Samurott and Zipstrika. I love this thing so much. It's so cute and it's so fun to use. And it got buffed, which is amazing. So, Gothita, Gothitelle. Fuck, I don't know the other one. Um... What is it? Gothi, Gothita, Gothitelle, and Gothorita. There we go. Okay, I was like, what the hell are the names? Um, so, I don't really like this design. I don't really like this Pokemon in general. I think it goes, like, something like this. Uh, I don't really care for you, but you're, like, a cool design. I like this one. This one's a really cool design. Um, Solosis, um, I think it's... It's kind of bland, but it's cool. Duosian, meh. Kind of meh. It's above Trubbish, though. And then Rionicles, I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Probably gonna put you above Swadloon. You guys need to... Swadloon needs to... <laughs> I just keep moving Swadloon down. I feel bad, but, like, I keep forgetting that some of these Pokemon are just way cooler than it. Um, there we go. Uh, Ducklet, kind of meh. Don't really care for it. Sw Swana, however... Cool, I'll put it in B tier. That's probably the highest that's ever been ranked before because who the fuck gives a shit about this bird? Uh, let's see. I don't know. I got two shiny ones and then I may like... I tried to use them competitively. Don't talk about it. Just don't talk about it. Vanillish, Vanillite, and Vanillux. Um, Vanillite is like, meh. Vanillish is awful. I hate how its face looks. It's really weird. But Vanillux, we're gonna put it in... Uh, I'm going to put it in B tier. I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. I need to move Muna down, though. Muna needs to go, like, there, probably. Can kill there. Nope. Shit. There we go. Um, I think Vanillix is cool. It's an interesting ice type that you get late in the game, I think. I can't recall, but... Uh, anyways, we got Deerling. I wish I could rank, like, all the different forms, because I would put, like, Winter... Fall, I would just put all of them in at like A tier, but the spring one's like meh to me. Um, I think it's cool, but like the other ones I think are a lot better. They just have like more stuff on their antlers and it makes them look cooler. Amolga is A tier for me. I love Amolga. It's so fucking cute. 
I wish it was a little bit stronger. It's fast, but it does has like z- no special deck. I think it's like in the 80s or 90s. I wish it had more, but it has like really good moves too, which is frustrating. It just doesn't have the stats to, you know, use that. Mm. Um, okay. Ooh, we're getting close to my favorites. Okay. Carablast is meh. Scavalier is really good design though. Really cool. Love that Pokemon. Amoongus is meh. Don't really care for it. Uh, definitely, mm, mm, we're going to put it above Duosion. But Fungus, I don't really care for it. Uh, next, we got Frillish. Uh, this is an S tier for me. Easy S tier. I am a very big Jellicent and Frillish uh, enjoyer, I guess. And we're going to put that like... Ah, this is hard. I would put it here probably. I love Jellicent, but Frillish is also really cool. Um, I need to, f- no, this is, Blitzel needs to move down. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, Aloma Mola, I hate this thing because of competitive, but it's not terrible. It literally just looks like a love disc evolution though. Like they should have just done that. But at the same time, I also see why they shouldn't be. They just look a little too different. Like they're the same color. Yeah, but like they look a little too different to be evolutions. So I don't like it, but Joltik, Joltik is cute. Uh, it's a interesting Pokemon. Galvantula is really cool though. I like this Pokemon. They literally, I feel like Gen Five had like the best introduction for like a ton of bug types. Like we got some really good ones like Scolipede, Levani. Hello, what else did we get? Fucking Escavalier. Obviously, we said Galvantula. Like we got some really good bug types this generation. Like holy, um, Feral Seed and Ferrothorn. Don't really care for Feral Seed. Fair Thorn, though, is, like, cool. Um, we'll put it, like, right there. It's a cool Pokemon. It's just, like, I have nightmares about it because it's competitive. Like, fuck you, dude. Like, stop being so bulky and stally. Makes me so mad. Um, I am a Clink lover. Why do people not? I don't, I'll never understand how people don't like this Pokemon. I think it's, like, super good. Ignore Clink. We don't talk about Clink. But, obviously, this is, like, easy A tier for me. Like, I love Clink Clang. Uh, it's a really sick Pokemon design for me. Um, and I just like how it gains, like, a fucking gear every time it evolves. I think that's really funny. We have Tynemo. Um, I like Tynemo. I think it's a easy high, um, high A tier, or B tier. And then I think we lose a little bit of that spark with elect. is it electric? We lose a little bit of that spark and, like, design stuff with that but then electros comes out on top easy fucking s tier this is a sick pokemon design easily above lipard um i'm just pushing lipard and zip strike it down i feel bad um but yeah i just really like electros i think it's a really good design and i wish it was slightly better it has no weaknesses which is a really unique trait too uh lgm two humanade <laughs> oh my god i can't talk two humanoid um i don't really care for that um, but BHM is cool, and I like to say the name. Uh, Litwick, fucking creepy as shit, but it's it's cool. You need to move down. I don't really want you that high. I don't want Amoongus this high either. Holy shit, what is wrong with me? Um, what the hell is this ranking? Okay, Lampent, also, it's like a, it's cool, but Chandelure is where the really good design is at. There we go. Axew is fucking adorable a tier um fracture a tier haxorus oh i just almost opened my files haxorus is s tier uh cub kind of boring fair tick cool um but cub is like so fucking mm, i feel bad it's like yeah it's okay it's fine cub is okay whatever Cryogonal is cool it gets access to some really unique stuff um solar beam cover i think freeze dry some cool moves like that so, definitely top of uh, C tier. Shelmet and Acelgore. I like Shelmet better than I like Acelgore. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea why, but this thing just looks a little weird to me. But this looks cool, so I don't know. Stunfisk. Mm, C tier. Not a big fan. Uh, low C tier, probably. Like, uh, Let's put it like here. There we go. Uh, Manfu and Minchow. Ah, I don't really, I'm, I've never been, like, a super big fan of fighting types. Like, it's hard for me to actually like fighting types. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're too humanoid, but 
I'm gonna put you here, and I'm gonna put me and Xiao in cool, cause I do somewhat like me and Xiao. It definitely goes above a few of these Pokemon though. Um, let's put it right there. No, there. You need to go down. Um, what else do we got? We got Drudigan. Drudigan's cool. I think it's like top of or bottom of B tier. Definitely above you. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Uh, we got Golem and Golem. Um don't really care for you to be honest <laughs> not a big fan of you but you're cool go i think i called it golem but this is golurk it's a cool design definitely lower uh, mid eight uh B damn i don't know what i'm talking about mid c tier ponyard and bisharp dude all right these are some cool designs i like ponyard bisharp too bisharp's pretty sick definitely goes above a good amount of these pokemon uh there we go probably like right no right there no <laughs> uh we'll put it like here ish there we go uh bufalant don't really care for bufalant um rufflet and braviary rufflet is like mad but braviary is pretty cool it's definitely right there we got volibee and mandibuzz i fucking hate this pokemon for how bulky it is but it is not a bad design um however you're going fucking there fuck you um this thing is cool but like i said hate how bulky it is probably above muna heat more i like heat more only because of its shiny so it gets a solid c tier durant don't like durant dino zylos and high dragon oh my god some awesome pokemon i like zylos a lot because of that z name i don't know why but z is just so funny to me um it's just a really good name for it where did i put high dragon oh there High Dragon is S tier. Oh, I love High Dragon. Um, you're gonna go above these guys. Same with you. High Dragon's better in my opinion than Haxor is. Larvesta and Volcarona, dude. So many people hype this Pokemon up. So many people hype it up, but I just like, I don't see it. I think it's got a cool design, and that's it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, you can go above there. You can go there, but you're like, you need to go like there you need to go here no you're going there <laughs> and then we got the legendaries finally to the legendaries so uh let's see cobalion i think i like cobalion the most out of these three the swords of justice or i guess including Keldeo, i like cobalion the most so um probably high a tier i'm gonna put it right there um yeah I don't really care for Terrakion. High C tier, probably. And then Verzian can be high B tier. Um, I like it better than Victini. Okay. Tornadus, Thunderness. Thunderness? <laughs> Thunderous. I just don't... The genies don't really sit right with me. They're not that cool. I think they can be low B tier. Actually, I like Thunderous, though. Um, Thunderous can go there. There we go. Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. Okay, Reshiram, it's cool, but uh, probably B tier for me. I think Zekrom is where they nailed the design. Easy S tier for Zekrom. Uh, probably goes right past all those, except not these four. But Zekrom is such a good design. Um, here we go. I wish I could rank the theory in forms too, but not an option right now, I guess. Um, where do you go? Landorus is okay. I think it honestly just goes thrown right in the middle of all these Pokemon. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna put it... We're gonna put it here. I think it's a cool Pokemon, but it's not like the greatest, you know? Kiram, uh, high... Low A tier. It's a cool Pokemon. I like it. How what they did with, uh, with it, what they did with uh, Zagram and Reshiram, and like its uh final form or whatever. It's like full form being with Kiram. I think it's a really good idea. We got Keldeo. Keldeo is definitely a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, we'll put it low, A tier below Kiram. Meloetta. I, I actually hot take. I don't really like Meloetta. I don't know if I should put it in low C or top of D. Probably top of D. I really don't like it. I don't know why, but it's just, like, not 
not a good design to me. Uh, we got Genesect. Easy B tier. I, I have so many B tier Pokemon. I literally... Holy crap. Um, probably going to put it... Above... Um, Clank. We just got... Wait, is that... Which one is this? Fuck. Clank? Clank? Clank, Clank. No, wait. This is Clink. Okay, so... Mm, I like the fossil so much, though. Whatever. We'll put it right above Tortuga. I think that's it, right? Yes. Okay, so this is my... Can I, like, zoom out? Yeah, I can. This is my full tier list ranking. I think these are the best Pokemon right here. These guys got good designs. Um, These guys are just kind of blech, whatever. And then these ones are... Could have gone the generation without them, basically. Um, but, yeah, so... Let me know what you guys thought of my tier uh, list, and let me know, like, what you thought of the video. I haven't posted in a while, but maybe I'll start posting again. We'll see. All right, but that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tier list and ranking and everything. I hope it all made sense. I hope I broke things down enough uh, and to why I, like, picked a spot for Pokemon, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you later.